Hey folks, welcome back. So this week we are actually gonna get back to working on the windows. Yeah, I know, it's, uh, it's been a while since I've done that. I kind of got distracted with some other projects and the windows got put on sort of the back burner. So as you can see, uh, the next step with this is to put the, uh, the panes of glass into the window frames and get our glazing points put in and the glazing in and I'll show you what all that stuff is here in a minute. Now originally I was actually gonna talk with one of you guys that had reached out to me and said that you'd done this before and you would be happy to uh, share your experience and kind of give me some uh, guidelines on how to do this and do it well. And that was originally the plan but I kind of decided last minute to work on this today, this week, and so I didn't have time to do that. But I watched a couple YouTube videos and everything on the internet is correct, so you know, we should be good to go on this project. You know, I have no problem with that at all. So after I got almost finished with the first pane on this first window frame, I realized that I'd kind of forgotten to do the, uh, <laughs> the very first step, which is actually to put down just a little bit of the glazing kind of into the little, uh, the little groove that your pane sits down into, and that kind of beds the pane into the glazing a little bit and makes a better seal um, all the way around on your pane of glass. So I ended up having to pull the glazing that I'd put down, get that out of there, pull all the glazing points back out, pull the paint out of there, and then go around and put some glazing compound in there and kind of redo everything that I'd already done. So, you know, that was, that was kind of a, a, a pain. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, sorry, I'll, I'll stop. All right, well, we got the uh, the very first one done here, and we got a uh, pane of glass in each, each side, and uh, there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve here with just kind of getting the feel of how to do it. I think that should kind of get a little bit faster as I do more of these, and I still have another uh, seven of these to go, so hopefully, you know, I'll be halfway decent. Well, I'll probably be getting halfway decent by the time I get to the very last one, but you know, that's, uh, that's just the way it goes. Okay, so the second window frame went actually a whole lot better than the first one did. I think just kind of knowing what I was doing and I, I ended up doing both panes at the same time, which of course that kind of made things go a little bit faster, but even just like the first step, of putting down that little bit of glazing before you put the window pane in. That probably took maybe as much time to do both sides as it had taken me just to do one side before. So things were already speeding up at this point. All right, so today I'm wanting to do a little bit of milling. And as you can see, we already have a, uh, a log up here ready to go. And I've got another three off to the side there. And these are actually some logs for a guy that lives down the road a little ways that uh, I told him I'd get these milled up <clears throat> a little while ago, and I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. And uh, he's actually planning on bringing some more over here for me to do, so I kind of need to get these done first. Now, I was just about ready to start on these when I remembered that the bearings in my blade guides here on the mill are really in desperate need of being replaced. They're getting very worn out. They aren't spinning very well anymore and they've kind of gotten a groove worn in them because they've been on here so long. So they are past due for replacing. And I actually picked up some, got them here in my pocket. I picked up some new bearings. So we're gonna go ahead and replace these things first off. And then once we get that done, we can start milling. All 
All right, so that was a pretty easy job. Took maybe 10 minutes most to get those swapped out. And uh, if you're curious what it looks like, if you don't replace your bearings for uh, maybe three years, I think now, this is kind of what they're going to look like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was long overdue. All right, well, we got this one all milled up, and this is the last of the four logs that I've gotten from the guy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over, grab the other stuff that we milled up uh, yesterday evening, and then we're gonna take all of that stuff up towards, the, uh, up towards the road where we've got the trailer park, and we'll dump all this on there. And then hopefully tomorrow, if we don't get a whole bunch more ice like we did last night, um, the guy's gonna come over, he's gonna bring his truck, he'll hook up to the trailer, and uh, we'll take that stuff over to his place and we'll pick up some more logs from over there and bring those back here. All right, so today I was planning on finishing off our windows up there, but it is super cloudy out today. And in fact, you can't even see the top of the mountain. This right here is just the first little hill. 
And then the mountain goes up to, oh, it would probably go up somewhere around in this area if you could see it. So it's a little bit dark up there and it's not the greatest for filming. So I decided we would do a little bit of work on the old Land Cruiser. Now I'm gonna get a little bit off topic here uh, because it's something that comes up uh, somewhat regularly anymore and that is lighting up in the loft. Now ironically, we would have halfway decent light up there today if I had windows in, uh, you know, the windows that were, uh, that were working on here. But until I get the windows in, it's gonna be kind of marginal light because the openings are just covered with house wrap. So that's kind of like having your window shades drawn all the time. So it's not letting in nearly as much light as we could be. But until I get the windows done, we won't have that. So several of you have brought up the, uh, the topic of possibly putting in a small uh, solar setup in here. And I've actually looked into that several times as to you know what I would need to kind of get the amount of power that I would want just for running really basic uh, stuff, you know, some lights, maybe a uh, battery charger for doing the, uh, the camera battery, stuff like that. And I just really, to get what I think I would want and what would be practical for me, I feel like I'm better off just saving that money and then putting it towards uh, getting this all wired up in here and then eventually getting the, uh, the grid service hooked up to it instead, which that is the long-term plan to you know, just get hooked up to the grid because I mean, we've got power lines going right through here. I'm not sure if they're showing up on the camera or not, but they're right there. It's literally 30 feet from the mill house. It's just that it's kind of expensive just being hooked up to it. You know, you've got your monthly fee and I'm really not using that much electricity. So I'd probably be paying more for the hookup than I would be for the electricity that I'm using. So now back to uh, what we're working on today, which is the old Land Cruiser here. And I hate to say it, but I kind of think I forgot to do something that I should have done a couple few weeks ago when I first started on this. And that is, in case you haven't done any sort of automotive work, if you have something that's not starting, there's two things that you need to check for. One is, are you getting fuel? Which we definitely were not getting that before. The other is, are you getting spark? You know, are you getting electrical current up into your spark plug so that that fuel can ignite? And I just got to thinking the other day that I had never done that, which is kind of important and it's kind of something I should have already done by now. So what I've done is I actually picked up some new spark plugs here the other day. So we got these here ready to go and we're gonna go ahead and replace those out. And then I can't see what the spark plugs are doing when I'm in there turning the key so we're gonna set the camera up out here you guys can keep an eye on it for me and then let me know if we're uh, getting any spark on our plugs okay I think I could see spark on there I'm not for sure it's kind of hard to see on the little tiny screen on the camera and I don't have a bigger screen to put it on to tell for sure. So we're just gonna assume that it is, and I'm gonna go ahead and replace out the rest of the plugs, get all those good to go. I'll check over a couple other things with the kind of electrical part of it and make sure we don't have corrosion or anything on that. And uh, we'll give it another go with all the plugs in place and maybe it'll run. All right, so now that we have the uh, spark plugs swapped out, I'm gonna check the, uh, the points gap on the distributor there, make sure that that is at the right spacing, and we'll try and clean them just a little bit because they look a little bit corroded, and we'll give this thing another go. Alrighty, everything's hooked back up except for our batteries leads here. So we'll go ahead, pop these back on. 
And now, we'll give this thing another test, see if it'll start. Okay, we are definitely getting fuel in here. That is not, not an issue at all. However, it's still not running, so, ugh. We may need to do something with our, uh, our spark here. Alrighty folks, we are gonna wrap up this week's video right here. We actually ended up with about two or three videos worth of material for this week, so I just, I didn't have time to edit it all, so we're just gonna do one part of it this week and we'll continue on with this week, next week. I like to try and keep them in the kind of 10 to 15 minute range. It makes them more watchable. Those are, that's kind of what YouTube says you should go for is like 10 to 15 minutes, so that's that's what I do next week we will be back to working on the windows again uh, we should be getting those wrapped up and we may also be working on a couple of other projects as well obviously I do know what we're gonna be working on so I don't want to give too much away but it, it, it ought to be good so that is gonna be it for this week's video as always I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time <laughs>